Hello everyone. I want to give another example of zigzag think, or at least I think it's zigzag think. It seems kind of zigzag thinky to me. It happened a few years ago when I was staying in Mumbai, the west coast Indian city, and I had wangled a freebie, a free stay at the Oberoi Hotel, which is one of the nicest hotels in town. And as part of a part of my freebie, I had been offered a very, very plush lunch in the Italian restaurant. There weren't many guests in there for lunch and leaning back, kind of slapping myself on the back at having done so well, I cast an eye around the dining room and a couple of tables away, there was a young European couple with their daughter who was aged probably four or five. She was dressed in a lovely little dress and had a ribbon in her hair. And she was trying to be on her best behavior. But just about the time when I cast my eye around the dining room, I noticed that she had ants in her pants. And the other person to have noticed this was the maitre d' of the, of the restaurant. He sashayed between the tables and from nowhere, pulled out a box of crayons and some very, very lovely paper. And he presented them to the girl. This was just about when I had just ordered my lunch from one of the most beautiful menus I've ever seen. It was made on handmade paper and backed on the most fabulous velvet colored card. It was a thing of wonder. I got on with eating my meal, which was very delicious indeed. And a few minutes later, I looked round and I noticed that the little girl was doing her crayoning. But to my surprise, and actually to my horror, she hadn't drawn on the paper she was given, but rather on the menu, this incredibly beautiful menu, which was pristine. The parents tried to apologize to the maitre d at the end of the meal that their daughter had sullied the menu so badly. The maitre d shrugged it away. A couple of days later, when I was checking out, I was in the line to check out and the European couple were ahead of me in the line and it was their turn to be served, to, to leave the hotel. Just when they had paid their bill, the maitre d from the restaurant swanned over and he presented the little girl with something. It was the size and shape of the menu and it was wrapped in brown paper and string. Delighted, the little girl opened it and found framed the menu that she had done her crayon work on. And the maitre d had taken it and had it framed in the bazaar. I love this because it's an example of a zigzag think that is so possible much of the time. The kind of thing that nobody really does, although it's always possible and it's always within our grasp.